and I, I'm going to try and pronounce it. Um, the the words around the pyramid say Anuit Keptis Novus Ordo Seclorum, which means announcing the birth of the new world order. And the date uh, in the uh, Roman numerals at the base of the pyramid is actually May 1st, 1776. And when I read that, I thought, why on earth doesn't it say July 4th, right? Because that's... Oh, yeah. That, May why 1st. Isn't it, why is it May 1st? Well, May 1st is uh, Beltane or May Day, which is a very high satanic holiday. And, um, and so in satanic circles... May Day is the um, on the opposite side of the year of Halloween, and so they are similar in nature in terms of um, occult celebration. But May 1st, 1776 was the official date of the birth of the New World Order and the Illuminati. And the man that was, um, some people say he was the founder of the Illuminati, his name was Adam Vishau. He was a Bavarian, a Bavarian educator. Um, I, you know, in my studies and in the research that I've done on Freemasonry, I think that he was a good face man for the organization. I do think the, the Illuminati was um, operating for centuries before before they they formally established it. Um, but that is the date on our dollar bill when they officially established. Um, the Illuminati and the New World Order. And the purpose, um, to, to understand a little bit, is Masons believe that they are doing the world a favor, that they are really saviors of the world, uh, and for that reason, they uh, want to control it. Mm -hmm. uh, so most of our presidents have been Masons, mm -hmm. um, and, that, and many of our political leaders and even religious leaders have been involved in Masonry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when people can get initiated into a Masonic Lodge, mm -hmm. um, if they're in, let's say, um, like the United States, uh, a dominantly Christian nation, they'll have a Bible there. Yes. Mm -hmm. If they are in um, the Middle East, they'll have a Quran there. Depending on where they're at is depending on what book they focus on, and then the rituals go on from there. So I think, are, are they similar rituals? but they bring in what you're going to accept. In other words, they bring a little good in, and then the rituals have some, um, pretty much some sinister hidden messages. Well, uh, Masonry says that they accept all religions, so they put, um, they put Christianity on the same level as Islam mm -hmm. or um, the Jewish faith or, or other types of faiths. Uh, so Christianity is not set aside um, as as a one true faith or a one true path to God. Mm -hmm. They're all considered equal, um, but they do use a Bible. Um, Masonic ceremonies are very, very um, consistent. Um, they they're done in a set order and a set pattern all over the globe. So um, I would say that. The, the Bible is used, uh, sometimes there is a Bible. Um, I've been, been told that um, they're not allowed to open the Bible to the New Testament. In um, the Blue Lodge degrees, they kiss the volume of the sacred law. And in a way, what they're doing is they are um, kind of binding themselves back under law instead of under grace. So... Um, Many times um, there, there's a Bible there for show, but isn't necessarily um, used for, for teaching of truth. Yeah. And I think it's used more of a deception. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And um, because the, the people in there, and correct me if I'm wrong, I'm just kind of going from what I've learned. You're the expert, I think. Um, if... Uh, if somebody goes in a, as a Christian and they're initiated in and mm -hmm. they say, oh, great, there's a Bible there, the, the light, um, mm -hmm. um, there's a, they use a lot of candles, don't they, and um, mm -hmm. the need to, to shed on light to, to get the secret. Um, mm -hmm. If they do that um, in the United States, they're, they're first and foremost, um, uh, what's the word I'm trying to say, 
they're more they need to be more committed to the lo lodge than they're actually are to Christianity. So they Absolutely. they won't they wind up their brotherhoods are um, more let's say tied into the Muslim Brotherhood. Yes. Even as a Christian, than it is, you know, for their own Christian, you know, brothers and sisters at their own church. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, that's one of the primary tenets of Freemasonry, and one of the reasons people uh, used to consider Masonry ne necessary if you wanted to go anywhere in politics, if you wanted to um, to grow your business. Men were told that they needed to be part of the lodge, and so people that wanted to be successful. Uh, in business, in politics, in commerce, um, chose to become Freemasons. Um, but I, I would also say that um, it, it's much like a college hazing. People are not told what to expect when they mm -hmm. get there um, because it's secret. And, um, you know, the, the initiate is um, blindfolded as part of the initial ceremony. And in a way, it's, um, it's a prophetic act of creating spiritual blindness mm -hmm. so and many times uh, these people they come in um, they don't know what they are what kind of oaths or vows they're taking um, they're not able to read them beforehand mm -hmm. so basically they're led right into a ritual and making oaths and vows before mm -hmm. they've had a chance to really uh, analyze it against their their scriptures or against their conscience because many times the people that are at the lodge are um, well-known people. It's you know might be a family member or the chief of police or uh, the mayor of the town. They're well-respected individuals, and I think that that men go in and sometimes without questioning. And is that why really going uh, on? Is that the attractive um, thing about masonry? Is that um, there's well-respected people on the top, and people want to try to kind of build, work their way up? Well, it, in a way it's a system of works mm -hmm. um, and having good standing and there's some self-righteousness in there while I'm a part of this lodge and so um, it and it becomes a tremendous distortion of scripture and of truth the further into the lodge that they go. But one of the other things that happens is many of our nation's judges and lawyers, uh, our legal system, and, and as I mentioned, our presidents are involved in masonry, and their first loyalty is to the lodge, mm -hmm. not to the country, not to their wife, not even to their god. Their first loyalty is to the lodge. As a matter of fact, men have to remove their wedding ring when they come into the lodge, and when they receive, uh, when they receive uh, their lodge rings, um, it becomes a marriage to the lodge instead of to their partner, and there are vows of secrecy. So mm -hmm. these men um, become complicit together in the sorts of things that they do uh, in a court system. A mason that is, um, let's say, he's on a defendant in a trial. All he has to do is raise his arms up like this so that the judge is aware that this is a Freemason, and the judge, based on Masonic rule, mm -hmm. must rule in favor of the Mason.